Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about how to use timer. Like previously we have seen a timer which works with Solnet. But today let us see a timer which works with only pneumatic with help of only air pressure. Okay, let us take an application which is like forward of cylinder forward some time delay and backward of cylinder okay cylinder forward movement time delay and then backward for this we take a double acting cylinder as usually and for activation of this cylinder we would be taking an 5 by 2 wall or a DCV from 4 to forward 2 to backward and we would be connecting an air compressor at our pressure port and we would be giving both sides pilot operation for activation of this cylinder and then for showing the activation of forward and backward we would be taking roller limits switches for these also i am connecting air pressure and let us give some label this is backward bwd and this is forward fwd and here we also give the same label BWD at zero position and FWD at complete cylinder extended position 100. Okay, we take an another 3 by 2 and activate it with the help of manual just for starting the sequence of circuit. And then we needed a timer. Let us insert our timer which is nothing but time delay timer we have taken the time delay timer okay now when we start the simulation we can see like the air is flowing from this backward roller limit switch why because the cylinder is activating this component so what we do we take this air and connect it to our push button push button power source we take this air and connect it to our push button's power source from this push button we connect it to the forward pilot of cylinder now we can see when we press the push button air is flown into this and cylinder has om forward after moving forward we can see after forward we needed an delay from this we connected to our timer and this timer works with the help of air pressure so we are connecting air supply and after giving some time delay let us assume that around some 10 seconds so i am filling my accumulator about one liter we can see here forward now we can see it is taking some time delay let us count around it has taken nearly around six seven okay after seven seconds we can see we are getting air output from two so this one we would be connecting to our backward pilot of cylinder now we can see here we can see that forward it has entered into the timer air has entered into the timer the delay is taking place and after completing delay we can see it has completed in this way we can use pure pneumatic timers okay that's it for today guys